Hi, Dave Soriano. I'm a chem professor with the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus in western Pennsylvania, USA. What I have here is just a little demo of water electrolysis and I'm using a Brownlee apparatus which is a, a uh, conventional uh, simple apparatus for demonstrating electrolysis of water with a collection of the hydrogen oxygen gases. Uh, you can pick up these Brownlee apparatus from Thomas Scientific. They're on the, uh, on the internet. What I do is I remove the graduated cylinders, the 10 milliliter graduated cylinders, test tubes that come uh, with the apparatus. They're about $45 each. I remove them and in their place I uh, put burettes. On the left, with the oxygen being produced, I have a uh, 10 milliliter burette. And on the right, I think it's a 20, yeah, 25 milliliter burette for the hydrogen. Of course, you're getting more hydrogen uh, production based on the stoichiometry than oxygen, uh, greater production. The, uh, the electrolytic bath is uh, distilled water with uh, 9 molar sulfuric acid. Now, I have this hooked up to a 9 volt. Here I'm using, uh, it's not a rechargeable, but I'm, we're getting some in. A rechargeable uh, 9 uh, volt would be used. And uh, we'll hook up two or three of these in parallel so we can increase the amperage. Of course, if you hook them up in series, you increase the potential. So we're at 9 volts. We're well above what we need for water electrolysis. And uh, we'll hook them up in parallel to uh, boost the production of the uh, hydrogen gas. And then what we will do is, at the top of the burette, we would have the stopcocks closed we would evacuate a round bottom flask, maybe you could see it over here, I just have it sitting in a beaker, and uh, put a Hoffman clamp, which I have over here on the oxygen one, yeah, put a general chem type uh, Hoffman clamp on the hydrogen let's say, evacuate the flask, and then you can introduce into the flask the volume of hydrogen gas that's being produced, I will affix to this a uh, drying tube with molecular sieves, pick up the uh, water that's being produced so we can generate uh, rather dry hydrogen gas. And what we will have in the round bottom flask, uh, we will try out different non-pyrophoric catalysts, nickel boride, cobalt boride, uh, a number of uh, non-pyrophoric catalytic uh, materials which we'll test out with uh, the hydrogen produced catalytic hydrogenations. The uh, 9 volt batteries will be recharged with a uh, solar panel. While this is running, I'm going to go grab one of those panels so let's get a little bit of a close up there. Yep, so far so good. Let me grab one of those uh, solar panels. You can get these from Harbor Freight, a company we've dealt with over the years. And that is a $15, couple of dollars postage, a $15 uh, solar panel for battery charging. Here's the box. It's a portable household battery solar charger. Harbor Freight. And uh, what this can do, get the back open, you could charge up uh, a nice uh, range of batteries. 
double A, triple A, D, and here at the top, the uh, nine volt transistor type uh, battery, which still has applications. You put that up, uh, we'll use our greenhouse here in the winter in western Pennsylvania. We put them up in the greenhouse, recharge the nine volts. And uh, then we can hook these up in parallel and uh, produce uh, pretty quickly uh, quantities of uh, hydrogen gas for our experiments. So as we go along and we get this set up uh, in the next, uh, over the next couple of months, we'll have updated videos showing uh, the work we're doing bench scale hydrogenations. And uh, this will be part of a uh, introductory fuels lab course I'll be teaching starting in the spring semester of 2015. And among other things, we'll uh, generate and utilize the hydrogen gas. Yeah, the uh, Brownlee apparatus you see, I don't know whether you can pick it up or not, small tips of platinum metal serve as electrodes. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, you can get a hold of me. Bye now.